Welcome to another edition of FLIR Prime. I'm Grant Coffey. Firefighters wear bunker gear and fully contained, self-contained breathing apparatus during the hot, dangerous, smoky conditions of a fire. In those conditions, you take it off for one second and you're probably not going to survive. Yet, when that fire is declared out, we take all that gear off and we call it the overhaul period. Now everything's okay, right? Well, not so fast. Overhaul is the period that we call after the fire's out. And the problem is, what we do is we have to then shovel out all of the bad stuff with the hot spots, and etc., so it won't start a fire again. And we have to shovel all that out. And all we usually do is we monitor for the correct levels of oxygen and carbon monoxide. And then what happens in many cases is the firefighters take off their gear. Problem is, that's still a dangerous environment. Make no mistake about it. In my opinion, it's still a hazardous environment. Maybe not today, maybe 20 or 30 years down the road. And that's a, a situation that you don't want to subject yourself to. Studies show that in multiple overhaul scenes, there are over 70, and that's just conservative, 70 hazmat chemicals at multiple overhaul scenes, including cyanide, benzene, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, formaldehyde. These are chemicals that are in a typical cigarette that we have regulations for because they're unhealthy to smoke. What can we do to protect ourselves from this hazard? Let's look at some of those points. Overhaul the scene only as much as you need to. Gone should be the days when we overhaul and so clean that you can almost move in. We shouldn't need to do that. We should only overhaul as much to get the hot spots out of there. Number two, Follow the NIOSH and the NFP recommendations, some of which I'll cover. Wear your SCBA as long as possible. I was a firefighter for 37 years, I get it. It's not fun, it's not easy, but there is no dust mask or even filter mask that's gonna protect you from all of those gases. Next, ventilate the structure. You can ventilate it naturally or with forced air. Let it breathe for that next 30 minutes or so and get outside. You can go and take a rest, you can decon, you can talk about the fire then get back in. That fire is not going to go anywhere. That will enable the levels of those gases to go down, hopefully to a little safer level. Decon is incredibly important. Some of these chemicals can actually get subdermal and can be a real problem for your health. What you want to do is wash everything off. You're outside of your turnouts, but in addition, when you get back to the station, take a good hot soapy shower. You're going to feel better and your safety officer is going to feel better. You know what the bottom line is on the overhaul scene, in my opinion? It's lead by example. Leave your SCB on as long as humanly possible. Get in and get out of that environment. It's not something that you want to worry about 20 years down the road. Bring the bar up for the other people. You ultimately are the one that is going to be responsible for your health. We have an excellent download on this and you can obtain that by going to flare.com prime. Thanks again for watching this really important episode of Flare Prime.